Okay, this is still in section 1.4, looking at uh, arc length, sector area, and angular and linear speeds. And we're going to specifically look today in this area at just the angular and linear speed relationship. Now we know that the angular speed and the linear speed relationship is given by the formula uh, on page uh, 25, which states that the linear speed is equal to the angular speed times the radius of the circle. So it says a tire is rotating at 16 RPMs, which means revolutions per second, or sorry, or per minute, what am I saying there? If the radius of the tire is 20 centimeters, find the angular velocity in radians per second. So what we have to do is we have to convert revolutions per minute into radians per second. So we have to do a unit conversion. So we have 16 revolutions per one minute. Okay, and we want to convert that all the way down to radians per second. So first of all, we can convert the revolutions into radians. One revolution, so we put the rev we want to cancel the revolutions out. One revolution is equal to two pi radians. So now we can cancel the revolutions out. So now if we did that, we would get so many ra radians per minute. Okay. Now we want to cancel out the minutes into seconds. So we have one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now the key when you're doing a unit conversion like this is always to put the unit that you want to cancel on the opposite side of the dividing sign. So here you see that I wanted to cancel out the revolutions, so they had to go on the bottom they were on top here. And here I want to cancel out the minutes, so they have to go on top there. So now the minutes will cancel out. And you'll see that our unit's going to be radians per second when I do this conversion. So it's simply 16 times 2 pi divided by 60, and that'll give you radians per second. So let's do that on our calculator here. 16 times 2 equals 32 times pi, let's go 3.14 divided by 60. So I get 1.67 radians per second. So that's a unit conversion. So what, our second question is, what is the linear velocity in meters per second. So the linear velocity uh, relationship that we have is that we have linear velocity is equal to the radius times the angular velocity. So in our case the linear velocity is going to equal the angular velocity is 1.67 radians per second times R, and we want it in meters per second, so we could just simply convert the centimeters to meters. So that would be 0 0.204 meters. So I, I haven't erased anything on my calculator here yet. I still kept it in the, the exact form that I had it for for the number of radians per second I obtained in A. So I'm just going to take that and multiply that by 0.204 to get an answer of 0 0.34 meters per second. Okay, so it's not rotating that quickly. And that would be an example of calculating linear velocity and finding using unit conversions what the angular velocity would be converting it from revolutions per minute. Okay, now I have another question here for, and a final question for 1.4. Another similar question. A bike tire has a radius of 38 centimeters. What angular velocity must it turn at, and that's in radians per second I'm looking for, for the bike to be traveling at a linear speed of 42 kilometers per hour? Hmm. So we're doing a little bit of opposite work of what we 
did last time. Okay, so we have a linear velocity equaling 42 kilometers per hour. Now, we want it in radians per second, and the tire is in centimeters, and the, the velocity, the linear velocity, is in kilometers. So I'm going to convert the tire radius and the velocity into meters. And I'm going to convert the velocity into meters per second. So let's convert the meters per It has to be converted into meters per second first. So we have 42 kilometers per hour. So we want to eliminate the hour first. So let's put the one hour has how many seconds in it? 6,300. 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So that cancels out the hours. Now I want to convert the kilometers into meters now. So I multiply, put the kilometers on the bottom and the meters on top. Remember they have to be opposite when you're doing a unit conversion. Okay, so I want to cancel those up. But how many kilometers are in one, or how many meters are in one kilometer? Thousand. So therefore now I have my conversion that will convert 42 kilometers per hour into meters per second. So I take 42, multiply by a thousand, and divide by 3,600 to get 11.66 and so forth. So let's go 11.67 meters per second. Now that is our linear velocity in meters per second. So now when I want to find the angular velocity, I can now use the formula. Linear velocity is equal to the angular velocity times the radius, and all I have to do to find the angular velocity is rearrange that equation. The angular velocity then equals the linear velocity divided by the radius. Now we have to make sure that the radius is in the same unit that the linear velocity is, so we can convert the radius into meters, so that would be 0 0.38 meters would be what 38 centimeters is. Okay, so do that calculation, 11.67 meters per second over so many meters, 0 0.38 meters. Meters cancels out and you get radians per second for your angular velocity. Now I'm going to do the same thing I, I did before. I left on my calculator the value for the, the linear velocity that we obtained. Now I'm just going to divide that whole number by 0.38. Then I can round off at the end. Then we get an angular velocity of 30.7 radians per second. Okay, and that's an example of a couple of word problems that you would get in that section. So in our next section, we aren't really going to, in our next tutorial, which is our last section, 1.5, we're not going to really do a bunch of different kinds of questions. We're just going to do a bit of deriving in it. It'll be similar to what we're going to do in the class notes.